What's going on guys? GSnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you who are still on iOS 9.3.5. A jailbreak has been created by, you're not going to guess who, Stefan Ezer. So uh, yeah, a lot of you pro would probably ask me who the hell is still on iOS 9.3.5, right? And I'm going to tell you a lot of people and the reason for that is that some people simply did not like, you know, iOS 10 and they did not update and they are still on iOS 9.3.5 because they do love the old look of the iOS 9.x and iOS 9.3.5 was the last 9.x version and uh, on the other side we have those of you who are still on iOS 9.3.5 because your device cannot update to iOS 10 or further on and that is the iPhone 4s, the iPod Touch, 5th generation, some iPads and so on. So let's talk about the jailbreak then. You can see here Stefan Ezer has posted today Quote, hmm, jailbreaking iOS 9.3.5 on 32-bit with known bugs was actually way easier than I thought. And uh, apparently hinting to the fact that he managed to jailbreak and he managed to create a tool for that. And if you follow the, um, if you follow the threads later on, he of course uh, confirms that he was doing it in Xcode because Xcode crashed while compiling the jailbreak application. And then he also posted this. Now this has been posted, you know, for all the entire day. And I decided to make this video now to cover all of them up. So, um, yeah, you can see here that he says the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for 32-bit devices that I built today uses the CVE 2016 and CVE 2016 4669. So uh, 4655 and 4669. Uh, those vulnerabilities apparently should have been patched by... Um, by Apple, of course, but they did it, but they did it very wrong. So uh, apparently Stefan Ezer managed to, to take advantage of that and uh, make a jailbreak. And he says in here, if you are surprised that iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak uses the uh, CVE 2016-4655, just because Apple claims stuff is fixed, usually means nothing. So, of course, hints to the fact that Apple did not patch correctly what they should have patched. So, uh, if you take a look in here, he claims that the um, uh, the jailbreak he, uh, he has made is basically made due to the fact that um, the uh, iOS 9.3.5 is the latest version supported by the iPhone 4s. And if I remember well, he has an iPhone 4s that he needs to, to use for some sort of presentation or demo or something. So he decided to make a jailbreak for it. Now, uh, it's not released for the moment, but apparently the tool has been made and uh, it's using actually public um, vulnerabilities, you know, that are known. So uh, I don't see why he should not actually release it since it's not using exploits that are private or that are very important that should not be uh, ever released. So yeah. Um, you know, Stefan Ezer is a real security researcher. He's been involved in jailbreaks in the past. He's been involved in various uh, trainings for iOS security researchers and so on. Uh, had multiple companies on uh, security research and security um, of information and so on. So he is definitely into that. He does know what he's doing and he's definitely legit. And uh, yeah, even Twitter confirms that if you take a look in here. So I do not know whether he's going to release it or not. Of course, if he releases the jailbreak, you're going to see it here on the channel and I'm going to make a tutorial on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice that he made a tool. The tool is basically ready. So we know that it's um, iOS 9.3.5 is definitely jailbroken with publicly available exploits. So there are chances for a release. Just do not go and, you know, ask him when he's going to release or stuff like that, because we do not want him to get, you know, pissed off on the community for asking dumb questions and then changing his mind. Anyways, this is basically it, guys. Great news for those of you who are still on 32-bit on 9.3.5. And um, yeah, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gios now. Peace out.